welcome to AFC RD TV. I'm here at uh, training on a Monday evening and uh, the first interview of the new season is with uh, our new signing, but uh, an old face. Welcome back, Jake. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Looking forward to being back. <laughs> so um, tell us about going back uh, to that first season. You enjoyed it in the first season? Yeah, I loved it. We had a really good season. Um, shouldn't have left looking back now, but glad to be back after three years away. Hindsight's always a good thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. At the time, it seemed a good decision, but about three or four months later, I quickly regretted it. But. Yeah, I was looking forward to you playing with Russell Dunkley. Yeah, well, <laughs> that obviously didn't work out. But. <laughs> Never mind, but uh, we won't talk about your uh, your career at Kettering. Let's put that behind us. But you, you came back and played for Wellingborough and were very successful, and that led to uh, moving up, uh, up the uh, pyramid. Yeah, I mean... To be honest, after the season I had at Ketchum, I just wanted to go and play somewhere and score a load of goals, which is what I did at Wellingborough. And then, again, last season for Wellingborough, Spalding and Stamford scored 40 last season. So, been playing well the last couple of seasons, so I've re -found my form. I think we'd take 40 goals, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, they weren't all in this, at this standard, but <laughs> half of them were for Wellingborough. But, yeah, 20, 25 will be good enough, I'm sure. I know John Dunham likes to steal our interviews, but uh, I'm going to steal one of his interviews. Uh, somebody uh, texted you or, or emailed you and said you need uh, 26, 26 yeah, goals to, to be top yeah. scorer, to, be, to, to overtake Alfie. Is that the target? I think it was 25, yeah. actually, because you're on 26 and he's on 50. Okay. So you need 25. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's, that's the aim then. I'm sure he wouldn't like it if I go past him, but <laughs> yeah, that's the aim. OK, and tell us a bit about uh, playing for Spalding and playing for Stanford. It's harder to, uh, uh, in the north than uh, playing in the central. You never played in the actual Southern League, did you? I played in the Southern Central for Ketron. OK. Um, I personally found, I don't know whether it's just because I've improved as a player, but I found the Northern League slightly easier than the Southern Central. Um, and it's a tough league, it's a lot more physical, but I don't think the standard of actual football is quite as good. It's my experience, but I mean, I only played, I think it's 12 games for Spalding in this league, so I didn't have a full season there. But you played in Step 3 for yeah. Stamford? Yeah, I played, yeah, I played Step 3 from January through to the end of the season, and it was a tough league. We were, we were struggling quite a lot when I signed, but we had a good second half of the season, played against some big teams like Darlington and Salford and played well against them. Um, but yeah, we, we, we got relegated by a point, I think, in the end. Has anything changed in your game in three years? Um, I'm a lot calmer in front of goal, I'd like to say. Um, more clinical, uh, still the same sort of player, better in the air now than what I used to be as well. Still not got a right foot, but yeah, something to learn, <laughs> something to improve still. You've been reading our forum, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, no I don't, I'm not one to do that, to be honest. Yeah, I, I have actually warned B and Q that you won't be hitting it this season. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a new McDonald's and everything for me to aim for as well, isn't there? So. <laughs> but you know, you've uh, been in pre-season. How's it been for the first week? Yeah, really enjoying it. Great bunch of lads. Lammy, like never trained with Lammy before, but yeah, he's getting us all running, getting us fit. Uh, a lot of ball work, but disguised running. And yeah, we're all looking forward to the first game on Saturday. And some fellow strikers, Nabil Sharif and Tom Lorraine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've played with Nabil before a bit, but never played with Tom. Um, but yeah, a welcome competition. Looking forward to playing with them. Well, Jake, thank you very much. I hope uh, the 25 goals, in fact, I hope the 40 goals uh, works out for you. And uh, I hope to be interviewing, for you, interviewing you a lot more this season. Yeah, I hope so as well. Thank you. Cheers, mate. So we welcome back uh, Jake Newman and uh, we actually welcome back another old boy, although he never left really because he was still signed on till the end of the season. Back from his travels, um, now lost his... Uh, number one appearance uh, record to uh, to Brad, but I'm sure he's going to be chasing him. Uh, welcome back, Sam Brown. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's uh, good to be back. And, yeah, definitely going to be chasing him down. Yeah, and, uh, just got to try and get back in the team and, uh, well, obviously hope he can be in the team because he's a good player. But, yeah, I'm after that record again. Excellent. So let's uh, talk about your travels. Um, are you back a bit earlier than you told me back in December? Yes. It's um, it's fairly expensive overseas, and the travelling lifestyle is quite expensive. Um, so yeah, 
back sooner than I thought, back into work now, so back to playing football earlier than I thought, but yeah, good to be back, kind of. And I presume the girlfriend's happy to have you back? Yeah, yeah, I keep telling her she's the reason I'm back, so if she watches this, I'm back because she told me to be back, not because I ran out of money, so. And you didn't get any offers from any Australian clubs then? No, actually coming back the first pre-season was the first time I kicked a ball since January, whenever the last game was. So, yeah, I didn't really play any football over there. They don't tend to like it that much. I don't think it's it's not for them. So, presumably, because of your father's still watching the club, you've been able to keep in touch with what was happening and uh, the end of season, where we uh, we obviously were top of the league, then we only just made the playoffs, and of course, it's the semi-final and the final. Yeah, um, I spoke to Dad quite a bit, and he would keep me in, sort of up to date with what was going on, players stuff like that um, and then for the sort of the big games at the end I managed to sort of listen to the Diamonds radio which I think I woke quite a few people up it was about four in the morning I think when um, when we went one nil up in the playoff final and then probably screamed a bit too loud when because I, I thought we had scored a second goal and then I heard Danny Watson obviously used to play with him so I started celebrating and thought oh crap I don't play with him anymore so yeah that wasn't uh wasn't the best, but yeah, we can uh, put it right this season. Obviously, it's a different league, but we've got players that have played at that level in that league and played at higher level, so we know what what to expect. Um, we just got to go out there and finish the job off like we probably couldn't do as well as we'd like this year. I was actually looking at the stats and realised you had 11 assists before you went away. Yeah, I think um, I need to get my long throw going again because I think well, probably 10 of them came from throwing. So. Yeah, I need to see if I can still throw a ball because I haven't tried yet. But yeah, I think that's something that I've always wanted to improve on, get more assists, get further up the field. So I've just got to try and continue that this year. I'm going to ask you this question. Um, there was no danger of you ever going away from AFC Richmond and Diamonds, was there? No, no. I, it's been a club that I've supported for many years, played for, for I don't know how many years um, with the old club and now the new one. And yeah, I'm happy. The club's clubs going places and I want to be a part of that. And how's pre-season training? Um, it's been, I think I met her Jake say it's less running as such, it's a lot of ball work which is something that you always hear players say in pre-season, they want to do a lot of ball work and it gets you just as sharp so it's been a lot of disguise running with ball work so I've enjoyed it, I think a few players probably haven't enjoyed it as much but yeah, I don't mind the, the fitness side of it all. And final question, back into work, did you manage to get back? And I went on holiday, came back last week, I struggled after two weeks, so I don't know how you get back into work mode after six months. Well, today was my first day, and I'm, yeah, I think tonight could be a real struggle for me for pre-season, but yeah, it's, it's nice to be back, back earning, because I kind of need the money right now, so yeah. OK, Sam, so I know we're going to see you a lot uh, in the man of the matches during the season. It's great to have you back, and uh, speak to you soon. Yeah, it's good to be back, thank you. Thanks, Sam. I'm now here with another new signing, although technically not a new signing because he played at the end of last season, and uh, an old face from the old club, Nabil Sharif. Nabil, welcome back uh, to AFC Resident Dime for this season. Uh, are you enjoying pre-season so far? Yeah, it's decent. It's going well so far. I'm happy to be back. Obviously, the same faces, some new. It's good to be back, though. OK, let's go back, wind back to Christmas. I know uh, it's been a difficult period for you, uh, and uh, I know you had a, a serious illness, and uh, tell us a little bit about that. Um, well, to be fair, last season I was doing well for Daventry and I came here and I suffered from the lung injury and set me back because I've not really just gotten better. Now, recently, when I came back at the end of last season, I didn't feel myself, felt heavy, couldn't really run. But now I'm happy, I'm healthy and surgery went well. I had two surgeries on my lung, but I'm healthy now. So, so you put that behind you? Yeah, it's behind me now. I'm just getting ready to get going now, really. So you at least enjoyed the, the last few uh, few games with the team and uh, I know the disappointment for the final, but the, the enjoyment of the semi-final. Yeah, it was, yeah, the semi-final was brilliant and it's a shame because I thought in the final we were the better team, but these things happen, but we'll go again this year, hopefully win the league. So I'm going to cast my mind back to when I was stood on the old Peter of Bank and saw you score those goals as a teenager. Yeah. Uh, can you remember those days? Yeah, yeah, I remember those. They were good days, to be fair. Yeah, I remember those days, good old days. So um, tell me about uh, you. Uh, you been playing at Daventry last time. You been around a bit? Yeah, I was at Daventry scoring a lot of goals, and then obviously the lung injury happened and set me back. But 
it's positive news now. I'm good, I'm healthy, getting ready to get going, really. And you played up front with Jake Newman before? Um, no, I don't think so. No? But he says he has that, so but never mind. No, I played against him, beat him actually twice. <laughs> <laughs> You'll keep reminding him of that? Yeah, yeah, he always gets it from me in training. Do you ever set yourself targets before the start of the season? Yeah, 30, normally 30, 20. I got 15 last year, but obviously I didn't play since December, so I think I would have been on target to get 30. That's an interesting combination with your target and Jake's target. We won't go into that, but it's about 50 goals between you. We'll take that. <laughs> OK, yeah. I think I would have got 30, because 15 by December, you'd say that's good. So, in terms of your playing style, is it still uh, playing off the last man or have your game developed a little bit? Um, no, fast last man or on the wing, um, off the striker, just your quick striker with a big man, as you like. Just, yeah, that's the same style, really. OK, well, I've already sold your player sponsorship and uh, yes, it is me because I kept asking Pizzi when you were coming back. Yeah, well, you can expect a lot of goals from me, that's, that's for sure. And I hope to interview you a few more times next season. All right, I look forward to it. Take care, mate. Thanks, Nabil. I'm now with uh, an, an actual new signing in uh, Joe Curtis. Joe, welcome to AFC Virgin and Diamonds. Thank you. I'm looking forward to starting the season here, actually. Really looking forward to it now. So tell us a little bit. Uh, last season you were playing for Spalding? Yeah, well, we started off at um, Daventry. We started off doing really well with Nabil, actually. And um, I think it got to about Christmas, January time. Things started going wrong, money, chairman, things started messing up. Trained over here a few times just to keep fitness and end up at Spalding with about 10 games to go. But no, I enjoyed it there. It's just a bit bit of a distance to go and this is a really nice set up here, so I'm pleased. Northampton lad? Yeah, I'm Northampton boy, yeah. I was actually here, I don't think many people know this, I was here as a 14-year-old, I think. From about 12 to 14, I was here playing in the... Uh, in the academy, and it was, I loved it then as well. In the old academy? Yeah, well, in the old academy, yeah, exactly that. Would have made that clear? Yeah, I should have made it clear. We know what I meant, don't we? You know what I, mean? <laughs> I think I sat next to your dad when, during, uh, when you played for Brackley, and I think you were at Southampton? Yeah, I was at Southampton before Brackley, yeah. I was at Southampton as a 16-year-old through to about 2021, 20, so I come up with the youth system there and things. But no, yeah, then I went to Brackley, obviously, enjoyed my time there, and found myself here now. So tell us about you, Where? what's your favourite position? I can play anywhere across the midfield. Um, I think I'm going to play a bit of a deeper role this year, the sort of number four, number four slot, but I was playing out wide at Daventry for a bit and more attacking role at Daventry, but I feel like I can do a job anywhere across, across the midfield and pop up with the odd goal as well. I was going to ask you that, how many goals do you get? I've already, I've already got 50 goals from talking to, to Newman and to Cherie. I'm not promising you as many goals as Nabil and Jake, but I'll, get, I'll deliver a few, definitely. I'll deliver a few, so it'll be all right. And uh, how's pre-season training been? Yeah, it's been tough, but it's always going to be tough pre-season. I don't think anyone really looks forward to uh, pre-season, but when the games start coming, I don't think we do as much running as what we have been doing, but we get our fitness through the games, which I'm looking forward to doing. Well, Joe, I hope to interview you during the season, and uh, again, welcome to the club. Yeah, I look forward to it. I don't